What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustmerTech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. Now in this class I'm going to talk about a conditional loop instruction called loop Z, loop if zero. Now loop if zero is identical to the loop instruction. The only difference is it has an extra condition. The zero flag must be set for the loop to continue to happen. So I'll show you guys the syntax right now of the loop Z instruction. This is the syntax, loop Z is our instruction, then we, we hit space and we type in our destination, which is normally a label, right? So if ECX or CX, depending on if you're using a 32-bit or a 16-bit operand, if you're, if you're using a 32-bit operand, then you use ECX as the counter. If you're using a 16-bit operand, then CX is the counter. So if ECX or CX is greater than zero, right? Because one, if it hits zero, then the loop uh, stops. And if the ZF, the zero flag is set to one, the, the loop happens. Otherwise, the loop stops. So let's open up MU8086 so I can show you exactly how it works. The first thing I want to do is type in a label, right? I'm going to call mine top, and we have to end it with a colon because it's a label, right? On the bottom here, we're going to end it with a uh, loop Z instruction and hit space, then type in R label name which is top so this is the body of this loop z instruction here right so the, it'll keep jumping to the top of this uh label here and it'll, it'll highlight whatever code is under the label it'll keep doing that as long as the ecx or cx is is greater than zero and the zero flag is set to one it'll keep the loop going otherwise the loop will stop now since uh, it's a loop instruction, right, we, we got to use CX or ECX as a counter. Since I'm going to work with 16-bit uh, operands, I'm going to use CX as the counter. So we got to set uh, a value for CX. So I'm going to move into CX the value of 5 because I want this to loop 5 times. So now we set the counter to 5, right? The, as, every time the loop happens, the CX gets decremented by 1. So once uh, CX is equal to 0, the loop stops. You got to remember, the loop will only take place as long as the CX uh, register is greater than 0 and the 0 flag is set to 1. So the 0 flag must be set to 1 for the loop to take place. But uh, in this loop, I wanted to print a character on the screen. I'll, I wanted to print character 5. So we're going to move into DL, right? 5. Now we got to add into DL48. The reason we're adding into DL48 is because we want to convert this integer value of 5 into character 5. So it prints character 5 on the screen, right? Now we're going to move into AH to H. That's the code for print character. Then we're going to type in INT, hit space 21H. It's the code just like do it. Basically, INC21H initializes whatever you want it to do. So now, let's tighten this up a little bit. All right, so let's hit emulate. Then let's hit run. All right, as you can see here, it only printed out a five one time. So the loop did not uh, continue going on. The reason the loop didn't continue going on is because, as you can see here, the zero flag was not set. The zero flag is zero. How do we set the zero flag? We can use the compare instruction because the compare instruction does not alter any operand. It only alters the flag. So we can add another value on top of the loop here, right? We can move into, let's say, BX. Let's say five. Let's move into BX the value of five, right? So now uh, we moved into BX the value of five. Right before the loop instruction here, I'm going to use the compare instruction, CMP. And I'm going to compare BX with 5, right? So you, we all know that the compare instruction does not alter the operands. All it does is alter the flex. It basically subtracts uh, both operands, and uh, then depending on the results, it alters the flex. In this case, it's going to subtract 5 with BX. I gave BX a value of 5, so then the zero flag should be set to 1, and then the loop will keep on continuing. So let's hit emulate. Let's hit run. So the loop kept on continuing because the zero flag was set to one because we compared a BX with five right before the zero flag. So the zero flag was always set to one. And now uh, this, we gave uh, the value of five to CX. So every time the loop happens, the CX register gets decremented by one. And uh, right, so then once uh, the CX register has a value of zero, then the loop stops. So that's why you printed out five, five times. All right, that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rustin from RustmerTech.com, and thanks for watching.